Good morning everyone. It's almost 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm using one of Femma's other cameras. This is the camera that she used for her beauty channel, but now I'm using it for vlogging. So I'm at KFC, bought some more twisters. I was tempted to get the mashed potatoes, but I'm on a diet. So it's really late here in Davao City, and there's not really any cars outside. I kind of like that. I actually enjoy walking late at night when there's no cars and the streets are empty. I did that a lot when I lived in subdivisions with Emma, but I obviously can't do it now. I'm not from this part of the city. I'm carrying a camera and different valuables. And at the same time, I just don't want to make Fema worried. Now that I'm healthy again, I really take into consideration of what Fema thinks, what Fema feels. Not only do I follow what I think is right, I also want to follow what she thinks is right. And if possible, follow as many people as I can. Not, a, not in terms of brainwashing myself, but just giving in to what people need if it doesn't hurt anybody. But either way, I'm happy to be awake right now, but soon I gotta go to sleep. The one thing I like about being here is that I'm able to walk wherever I want because I'm by myself so I could go anywhere at any time and it's easier to film different things since I'm by myself but at the same time that's kind of like a shallow happiness like it's kind of cool but it's not very fulfilling the biggest happiness I get is when Femme and I are either laying down and talking or sometimes she, maybe she's on the computer or on her phone or just sitting down and I'm just relaxed sitting down in the room I know it sounds kind of silly but I had some really good times right before we got in the hospital where I just relaxed and sat with Fema and didn't do anything in particular, just sat there and it was a great time. But when Zach is born, I don't know, it's gonna be something unbelievable. I can't, I can't explain it. I felt sparks of joy in the last vlog that I filmed when I realized that Zach is gonna be born soon. So when he's actually born, I have no idea what I'm gonna experience. I mean, I have a taste of it, but I think it's gonna be something beyond anything I've ever experienced in my life. Okay guys, so I'm headed to the bank right now. I'm gonna try to get a credit card or a checking account because Femme and I, we're gonna get that cord life thing. It's for the stem cell blood of the baby with the umbilical cord and things like that. So if any of you have got that before, let me know because I don't really know if I should actually follow through and get it or not. Some people say it's good. Some people probably haven't heard of it, but if you've heard of it, please let me know. So the doctor said that she was actually expecting Femme to give birth last week, but she didn't. The baby's prepared, everything's prepared, everything's going great, but then her survey decides to go back to 1 cm so now she's not really experiencing preterm labor anymore and that's really really good news everything kind of turned around it's going really well right now so we'll just wait and see things are going good right now the baby is fully matured he could be born at any time but her cervix is closing so he'll be in the stomach a little bit longer the apartment is organized now it's nice and clean Papa told Fama not to buy so many stuff because it's hard to organize but thankfully, we have so many closets here, so it's very easy to put our things inside. See? A lot of these cupboards are full. Nice. This is probably the best house I've ever lived in in my entire life. It's a really nice house. So it's the 14th today, and Zach will be born soon. I don't know when. But the doctor was mentioning maybe Monday or Tuesday or something like that. But if he's born on the 18th, he's going to have the same birthday as Fema's dad. Because <laughs> that's his birthday. It's almost her dad's birthday. <laughs> that would be nice. Here's Fema. I'm going to pick up the phone. I tried to apply for a credit card, except what happened was they said they need proof of my income. So I have to call the VA and, and get that sorted out. Hey, my dear, guess what? What happens if Zach is born on your dad's birthday? <laughs> Fema was thinking the same thing. <laughs> That would be that would be amazing. I hope he's born. <laughs> the 18th. 18. Arian's birthday is on the 19th. Oh, so so maybe he'll be born born on on Papa's birthday or on Arian's birthday. <laughs> Papa hopes that the baby will be born even later, so that he'll have more time to develop even more.
see Fema. <laughs> we gotta wait for them to unlock the door. I think I already brought my... Oh, oh, there's a plastic bag. A plastic bag with Fema's matangdang clothes or ugao. <laughs> or dirty clothes. Yeah, there. <laughs> so we're gonna video chat with Fema. Turn this on. Fema doesn't wear clothes. She wears a robe. Okay. Papa's preparing his hair. <laughs> See Endai? Yeah. See Fema? Oh. Hey, hey, you can move this, Papa. Yeah. You can move this. Here. Yeah. Here. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> they check the baby so many times a day. See, they put that there. They check the heartbeat of the baby and they check the contractions. You know when the uterus contract? It's like it's pushing the baby out. They check that. <laughs> They're asking when she'll be moved to a private room. Huh? Rice. Rice. She's in the uh, delivery room. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that's her food, Mama. That's her food. She's not allowed to eat certain foods. Uh, but it's okay, just follow your doctor. That's, I think that's what he said. They're talking about Rafi right now. And Rafi, he's okay. He got one eye surgically removed. It's stitched and he's happy and he's healthy again. But someday his other eye is also going to go blind. It's okay if it goes blind, but if it gets really infected, we probably have to take it out too. I'm not sure. We got to ask the vet. If Zach is born on the 18th, Papa said we'll bring him to Thailand. <laughs> we'll bring him to his hometown. If Zach isn't born on his birthday, he's going to go to church and pray. <laughs> Papa is happy because Zach is healthy. He's yeah, doing yeah, good yeah, so he far. <laughs> he, he said I keep filming the video. <laughs> he, Papa said the, the, the house we're in is We just got some food for Fema and I and now we're going back to deliver it to Fema. Mama and Papa are going to go home and I'm going to eat in the room. Salamat! Thank you! Have a good night. Okay, that sounds good. This is my food for dinner. I got this. I got Fema a lot more because I don't know what she wants, so I just get a lot of food and she selects. But this is mine. I could eat more later too if I want. Someone was binge watching our vlogs. <laughs> That's nice. I enjoy replying to the comments. And Fema enjoys reading them. She'll reply later, but right now she's still in the labor room and her dexterses are in her hands, so it's not very comfortable for her to reply. And once again, that's it for today's vlog. If you liked the video, click like. And if you leave a comment, I'll be sure to reply. Salama, Thanks, everyone.